We told you about the 11 day power play coming to Buffalo. Well, guess what, folks? It starts tonight. You've seen the billboards. You've heard us talk about it. This is an 11 day hockey event where volunteers are going to be skating all the way through July 3rd, okay? Sleeping there at Harbor Center because they're raising money to fight cancer. And the organizers are here. We're very happy to have Mike and Amy Lesikowski back with us. And folks, you are ready to go. This is so exciting because the ceremony is at 8 o'clock tonight at Harbor Center Rink. Puck drop at 9. And again, away we go for 11 days. This is amazing. So congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we're down in the home stretch. And the nice thing too, Mike, is that you've had a lot of cooperation from a lot of wonderful people. So we want lots of folks to go on down and watch this happen, right? Yes, please. Uh, doors open at 7 tonight. We've been, you know, this has been a year in the planning. And uh, Amy and our event coordinator, Sarah, have done a great job. So the, everything's set. The locker rooms are built out. The dorms are ready. The players have been training. We're ready to go. We're almost at our goal. And uh, you know we're we're ready to go. We're ready to we're ready to play some hockey. Now you've got two teams of what twenty guys? Yes. All right. So it's not like you can bring people in off the street nope. after day nine. <laughs> These guys are going to be sleeping there when yes. they're not playing, and then getting right back on the ice, right? That's right. Game never stops. Nine p.m. tonight till <sighs> seven a.m. July the third. Same team. Same two teams of twenty guys. And that game never stops except for when the Zamboni comes on every hour for a, for a ice flood. Unbelievable. And we want everybody to know that you were hoping to raise about a million dollars and we're, we're, we're on our way, right? Mm -hmm. And you've had a lot, of, a lot of great people come forward to sponsor themselves to skate, right? Absolutely. We've had over 60 um, sponsors. That's great. It's amazing. That's going to be fun. Tell us, Mike, who's going to be there tonight? You're going to see a lot of familiar faces. Yeah, we've got you know some former Sabres that are involved in this. Uh, Mike Pekka and Andrew Peters. We've got uh, Rick Jenneret doing play-by-play -play for a while. Opening <laughs> night, we got Rob Ray coming in between the benches. Well, there you go. He's Jixter's, worth the price. going to be right? on the ice. Jixter skating. Yep. Uh, so we've got. It'll, it'll be a fun night tonight. It's you know it's meant to be a, a celebration, and then uh, it's going to get tough. But tonight's going to be about a lot of have, you know having a lot of fun, and uh, we're looking forward to puck drop. Do, is there any night that you know you're kind of like really you got to get over that hump? You know what I mean? And then then they kind of can make it to the end. Yeah, we've had a lot of conversations with the folks in, El in Alberta that own the record. So they say days three and four are the hardest because your body's not used to the sleep patterns and things. And once you get through that, you kind of go on autopilot so getting through days three and four we've got a really cool concert scheduled for day six which is kind of the oh, halfway nice. point yeah so we're gonna we're gonna hopefully use that as a rallying point um, and at some point we're gonna we're gonna exceed a million dollars and when we do I think it's gonna reinvigorate the players mm -hmm. and make us um, actually want to raise more money and, and get through the end of it so now the public can come in and watch any time, right, while they're on. It's absolutely um, free any day to come in. We've got happy hours set up, so between five and seven, some days there's double um, bands coming in, but we've got nice. live music pretty much every day. Um, the concert on the 28th is CO Jones, Dave Schultz, who's flying in from California. Nice. Um, and that is the only event that we are charging um, at tickets.com. You can go on and, and purchase a ticket. Um, but yeah, it's it's we just want the community to come in and support the guys. They really need people to be down there and get them through the 11 that's days. That's right. That's right. Some cheering will really help. That's and right. you know we're we're kind of hockey starved right now. The the playoffs are over. We already have a new Stanley Cup champion and I'm used to coming home and turning on the game. Well, now you can go on down and, and yep. really get entertained, especially yep. with a lot of these personalities who are going to be there. I hear Jim Kelly is going to make an appearance. Rick Jennerett's going to be doing the play-by-play. The ceremony starts at 8 o'clock tonight, puck drop at 9? That's right. Is that right? Yep, doors open at 7. And and a lot of, if you don't recognize the faces, you'll recognize the voices. Alan Davis, WGR's sports radio uh, head, depart, head of that department, he's going to be there playing. So we have a lot of guys who talk a good game. Now we're going to see if they can play a good game, <laughs> right? So Jixter included, so that should be a lot of fun. So this is really, really going to be great. And I know you wanted to thank the Sabres, too. Yeah, the Buffalo Sabres, they're our presenting sponsor. They've opened up the Harbor Center for us. The Harbor Center, if you haven't been there, it's just it's a wonderful place. It's mm -hmm. a world-class facility. We're very lucky. Impact Sports has trained us in the Harbor Center. Jason Jerome has done a great job with our players. So they've been, they've been a really great uh, presenting sponsor, and we can't thank them enough. That's great. For people who would like to go ahead and make a donation so you make your goal, where can we send them? 11daypowerplay.com. That's easy. Um, there's a great donate button right on the front home page, and there's also an incredible video if you press play, um, a five-minute vi uh, video that um, Pagola Sports Entertainment produced for us. Oh, how nice. Now, you gave me a beautiful bracelet. Will mm -hmm. these be available, too, or yes. did you do these by yourself? And 
No, actually, Buffalo Gals um, kind of partnered up with us. Um, they've provided um, us with bracelets with our logo, um, and, and they're great. They have the date, they have the event name on them, um, and we have necklaces as well, and um, lots of merchandise. Of course, shirts and hats and shirts jerseys. And hats. Yeah, so yep. when you go ahead and you purchase something, again, that, that donation is going to go to the big bottom line, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Right. Can I just ask a quick question before we, we end? Why did you decide to do this for cancer research? <laughs> well, uh, Amy's a cancer survivor, and when I when she went through Roswell, you know the money that we're raising is for cancer research at Roswell. So, you know we were exposed to Roswell. I was exposed for the first time, as was Amy, and it was very apparent what an amazing place it was. Um, and my mom also went through cancer treatment at Roswell. She passed last year, but being there, seeing what they do, having a, having a tour of Roswell and meeting the doctors and researchers. It's, it's an unbelievable place, and we, we've, uh, you know, that's the reason behind it. Hockey, right. hockey's in my blood, hockey's in this town, it's a hockey community, so we're using hockey as the way to raise a million dollars and break a world record in the process. So all those things right. combined give it good synergy, yep. and we hope to uh, exceed that million dollars. All right, everybody, it's the 11-day power play starting tonight. Make sure you are a part of the success. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank